Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ian. It's great to have you here. Wanted to do a little update on the van and all the van life stuff. If you haven't seen my videos before, just scroll back some of the old ones. I built out this weird camper van. Well, it's like a weird Japanese van. I converted it into a home on wheels, traveled around, went to Florida, did all this fun stuff. So actually recently, something pretty bad happened. I was driving down a back road and I looked to my right because it's a right side drive. So I was looking out my window and I see a deer and it's kind of running right next to me with the van. And then all of a sudden it turned left and just boom, just right into the side of the van. Crushed the whole side of it in. The van's still drivable, but it's really messed up. And I'm really devastated, to be honest, because, you know, I put a lot of money and time into this project. And I was actually planning to sell it at some point. And if the, uh, if the insurance is going to total it, then that pretty much ruins any chance of selling it, which sucks. So, yeah, I'm not going not gonna to babble on too much. want to go out there and show you guys what's going on. So I'll see you out in the garage. i got to park down in the garage right now. So let's go out there and check it out. All right, going out to the old garage. Check out the van. So this is the damage that has been done. It's pretty gnarly. Just come over here and look. See how smashed in it really is. And actually it screwed up the alignment to the window so this window doesn't even close properly. I tried duct taping it earlier and it didn't do anything. This will come right off. I gotta use some alcohol to take that off. But yeah, this is the carnage of the, of the deer, what it did. All right, I'm gonna get in here. Go for a drive. Talk to you guys about what's going on. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the damage to the side of the van. It's not great. Not hyped about it at all. I'm really hoping that the insurance company doesn't total it because that will give me a title that is salvage so pretty much if you've never totaled a vehicle or if you've never been in an accident i've just learned all of this stuff from research what happens is insurance company comes out they'll look at the vehicle if the damage is going to cost more than what they estimate the value of the vehicle to be or if it's like pretty close to the same value of the vehicle they call it a total loss and what means at that point is pretty much you can either you know if they claim it as a total loss they'll offer you a settlement of money and they'll take the vehicle or you have the other option you can do a buyback so they you know they'll give you the settlement buy the vehicle from you but then you buy it back but then when you buy it back you have to get a new title for the vehicle and the title will be marked as salvage which means that it's been in an accident and it's not safe to drive it means that you can't get insurance on it it pretty much makes it a brick essentially even still you could get it fixed and then get a rebuilt title is what they call it but even that it's it's not good to have because it's harder to get insurance it's going to cost more a lot of companies won't even insure it because they can't guarantee the repair was done well so pretty much if you don't have a clean title your vehicle is useless for the most part that's that's kind of what i've gathered from it so I'm, uh, I'm trying to prevent that from happening. I don't really know how exactly, besides just, you know, hoping for the best. One thing I am doing is gathering evidence of what the vehicle is worth, because this specific vehicle, they don't have a blue book value for it because it's a Japanese import. So I don't know how the insurance guy is gonna figure out the value, but I'm just pulling all of my records on the vehicle of, of money I've invested into it, into the parts I've replaced, the, the regular maintenance that's been done, as well as the cost of the build, stuff like that. Hopefully they'll take some of that into consideration. You know, it, it's all, it, nothing is a guarantee really with what's going on. So that's, that's the situation with the van. It sucks, 
but at this point I can't really do anything. I've just been pissed off about it for the last couple days and now I'm just like, I'm kind of just starting to be like, all right, I guess it is what it is. Because it, it, that's really what it is. There's nothing I can do. I can't undo the deer running into the side of my van. So I'm kind of just rolling with the punches at this point. That being said, hope you have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Drop a comment. Let me know too if you've been doing van life or if you're a van lifer, if you ever thought about getting into this lifestyle, I can answer any questions you've got because I've lived it, I've done it, I know what it's all about. All right, that's all I got. Peace out, homies.